dance doctor here to make you jump, jump, cop. <laughs> Look, I'm here to bless y'all yet again with five beginner mistakes to uh, 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 keep your eyes out for it. Be on the lookout for it. You understand what I'm saying? What to avoid? The doc is about to operate, you dig? He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? No, I'm going to kill you. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. Yeah! Woo! Let me go ahead and just knock this back real quick. Give it to me. Give me that funk, that sweet, that nasty, wow. that stuff. Oh, yeah. That's that stuff right there. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yeah, 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 yo. What's going on, y'all? How y'all living, man? Is everybody good? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because uh, let me go ahead and take a good, a good quick, a good quick look at y'all real fast. <sighs> Is y'all straight? Because Pete, man, I'm coming at, I'm coming. I'm coming at all my beginners right now. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe even some of my more experienced cats with things that you want to avoid. Mistakes you might be making in your dance. Yes, you. You motherfucker. You might be making these mistakes right here and you want to cut them out. You know what I mean? You want to let them go. Drop them like a bad cold. Get rid of these joints because they only holding you back. I wouldn't lie to you, Blucko. You know what I mean? I feel like what we got right here is trust. You know what I'm saying? Trust with a capital T. So I want to make sure I do what I do and do my part to help y'all see these things clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Kabam! Look, man, I'm coming at your motherfucking neck with this one. You understand what I'm saying? Because this one must be stopped. Because there ain't no way I was not finna have this in the video right here. Listen to me and listen up good. As a matter of fact, come on, bring it on in. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> come on. Bring it on in. Just a taste. Whoa. Wait, okay, right there. That's good. That's good. Listen up and listen up good, okay? Let me go ahead and get situated for this motherfucker. Well. Stop beat killing. Stop beat killing. Stop beat killing stop beat killing cut the shit stop it no no stop it that's out it's done no more okay don't go telling your friends hey man that was that was amazing man you were beat killing like a mother that guy. no more it's done all right that shit is fucking y'all up. What starts to happen is there's priority, there's certain standards that are set within all these different terms that people be throwing around and beat killing seems to be at the highest. That's like what people hope to achieve out of their dance. They hope to get to a space where they beat kill. But naturally, due to the, the, the effects of not understanding rhythm, you gravitate to beat killing naturally by trying to just learn a song and when i mean learn a song you memorize it so that way you could beat kill or you become so familiar with the song that you understand where all the beats are gonna come but you don't understand different rhythms within music to actually flow between it you're just beat killing so you want to kill all the beats that's that's how that's done it doesn't really help you as a dancer to go with that understanding of wanting to beat kill you can naturally still fuck shit up <laughs> you know what i mean you could naturally still you know fuck the beats up here and there and, and do different things but you don't want to go into it with the mentality of beat killing take beat killing whoo it's saturday bye bye be gone Boom! look man i'm coming at you with number two and this one right here is crucial this one is all about the mm. 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 I don't know what the fuck that is, but look, look man, you wanna, you wanna fix that posture. All right, so peep, cause with this one, I'm finna flow. You understand what I'm saying? With this one right here, fixing the posture is something that I feel like is valid because of how many times I see people as they getting down, as they doing what they do, a lot of times they constantly stay within their center. I can see a person maneuvering, doing things all over the place, traveling, everything, but they are centered every time. Anytime that they go out of that center, 
guess what? They bringing it right on back. You understand what I mean? The amount of time that they spend even just to the side, sitting in different pockets, you understand what I mean? It's very minimal. It's like when a dancer hit the ground. Best believe, in about three seconds, he's finna get back up. It's like an uncomfort when they're, when they're slouched or when they're leaned back or when they're just in different pockets outside of their center. Naturally, I mean, we walk upright. You understand what I mean? We sit naturally just, and we do a lot of things in our center and I can understand where it comes from with just being comfortable in this place. But sometimes you gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Somebody write that down, put my, put a slash next to, put metal, put 2021. You gotta be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You understand what I mean? If you wanna take your dance to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, if you wanna do that, you gotta be, comfortable with being uncomfortable too many times do i see people getting busy and it's constantly just here you know what i'm saying i mean especially when i see them maneuvering and it constantly goes to other places but it, it like immediately comes back so you're not out there for too long you know what i mean go out there man Go out there, see what's out there. You might find some ladies in this space. You know what I mean? You might meet some new friends over here. Hell, you might get a whole better dance than what you had being back there. But but you just, you here. And it's cool being here, but you wanna, you wanna explore, man. And while you exploring, just sit your goofy ass down. Just sit there, stay. That's what they call sitting in a pocket. I just, I just did a State Farm Assist with that one. Cause this is five things you wanna avoid. But this is this is a little plug to help sit in the pocket. Sit, stay, see it there. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I go. Stay there. You know what I mean? And then get busy. Do not go back. Find your placements and fix your posture. Stop staying just in the center. You understand what I'm saying? Follow me. Boom! Look, man, I didn't wanna have to be the one to do this. Um Ah, this one's gonna sting a little bit, all right? This this one, this one is what they call the truth, okay? This is number three, and we talking about stop, not like the American, <laughs> stop, <laughs> drop, shut them down, up, man, drop. Whoa, yeah, that's my man right there, look, man. Stop dropping your moves. You understand what I mean? Too many cats right now in the game got it to where they do definitely within waves but particularly like almost within any style because a lot of things gravitate towards moves right now that's just the cold truth you know what i mean a lot of people are just picking up moves they're not really emphasizing the style and trying to learn the foundations within the style it's more about a particular move it's like they stop the they drop the whole thing whoop You know, they just, they, what, what the fuck happened to it? You know what I mean? What the fuck is you doing? Stop. Stop doing that. Stop dropping your stuff. You understand what I mean? Complete it. The whole thing. When you start from right there. Bam. The... The whole, even if you, bam! You see how it got to, bam! You see how it got to where it's supposed to start and then finish. You know, sometimes you can even take it to the foot and you can do, so, you know, but there's a start and a finish. Or if you start and then maybe you bring it there and then, like, but. It's, it's a smoother transit. You got to figure it out. Finish, finish your move. You understand what I mean? Complete it. But I'm telling you, if you want to perfect your shit, if you want to take it to the top, to the top of the top top, I'm talking directly to you. Finish your move, man. Finish. Complete that motherfucker. Close the book. Close the chapter. Finish the move. Too many cats out here is throwing out moves, throwing out things, and then they just drop it. To help you with that, when you're doing one thing on one side, do it on the other side. Say you was controlling something with your hand. Well, control it with this hand now. Because you just do things with this hand and then you go to something else. Like, what? what 
finish your concept, finish your idea, finish your thought, connect the pieces. You understand what I mean? Like if you do something, then, then, then make it like transition properly. You know what I mean? Like just complete your thought, put it all together so it makes sense. You understand what I mean? I'm trying to help somebody out here. And I'm telling you, if you complete the move, you're good to go. <laughs> Bam! Look, man, I'm coming at you with number four. And this one right here should have been number one to me. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Bicky. Look, man, this one right here is something super serious to me, super important. I feel like I was ready for this. And I, and I, could, talk, I could talk about this all day. All right? Number four is stop seeking blow-up moves. Okay, because I definitely feel like this is something that's very serious because I feel like it fucks up the dance, man. All this entertainment stuff within dance is great. It has a place, you know what I mean? Because people want to be entertained when they when they watching something. There's no question about that. What starts to happen it def definitely with some of the people coming in or some of the people watching from the outside is that's what you start to expect. And due to that, you start to look at other dancers that don't give you that same entertainment value definitely because when you even watch certain things your expectation levels increase which is natural to make the person go beyond that point to never settle that's also i could have just put that too but regardless the more you start expecting and the less you start appreciating the actual authenticities of the dance because you're looking for the blow up you're looking for that big bang you're looking for just crazy energy you're looking for qualities of the dance that don't really make it more about the dance you understand what i mean stop looking for blow-ups there are qualities in dance that should be prioritized that unfortunately are not so then people that watch these instagram videos the battles that are oversaturated the dancers that just want to showcase sets and different things of that nature it 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 got something registering in your brain that if you see a cat just getting busy and i'm not saying just you know even then it, it it could be something where you can say maybe they just didn't do it at a high enough level but you just don't appreciate somebody dancing freestyling in the music you know what i mean changing rhythm speed changes different textures dimensions like some of these qualities don't necessarily matter as much because it's not even the things that are talked about stop beat killing because once you get to that mature stage where you can see a motherfucker really fucking shit up then it's gonna click for you you're gonna be like i get it i i get it you understand what i mean follow me man Kablam, man look i'm coming at you with number five the last but definitely not the least and this one's personal i'm talking to me and you you dig look man i'm gonna bring the mic just a little bit closer and i'm gonna zoom the camera in because i want this to be heard you know what i mean i want there to be nothing but attention with this one don't give up all right maybe some other motherfuckers is finna but not you C come on man don't give up all right the way I look at it is, if you really fuck with this shit, and I mean if you really, like I'm, I'm, I'm dead at if you really fuck with this shit, you finna be doing this for a long time now. I'm talking a long time. Normally you don't, you know, like when you, when you in love with something, you don't even think about the time, the years, whatever. It's like, cause you're, you're glad. Like, do you only want to be dancing for two years if you love it? No, fuck that. If you love it that much, like, I hope I can do this for the rest of my mother fucking life. But, but a lot of these things, these distractions, a lot of these different, you know what I mean, uh, distractions and influences will fuck you up. Don't give up, man. Don't. You're going to have all these bad moments and shit and seasons where you fall off a little bit or whatever the case may be, struggles and all that. That's in life. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you want to just suck that shit you don't have to deal with it you know what i mean but if you really fuck with this don't give up man don't a lot of cats you know what i mean is 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 like the one hit wonders you know what i mean do a little viral joint and they go you know what i'm saying they take the dance pimp it and now you see them doing something else of course that's that's normally like i like our shit now i say our shit i mean that's it just always gets taken and used and they pimped it out and now they they on top 
But for you, man, if you really fuck, don't give up, man. Don't, don't. It's easy to give up, man. It's easy. And I'm, I'm really, I know I'm talking to somebody because I, I get this shit all the time. Like people be struggling, people don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Then your mind wander, you start thinking about other shit. I'm just telling you right now, don't give up, doggy dog. Don't, there's always a, there's a, there's a different answer, a different approach, a different way to focus on what you're doing. You know what I mean? If you can't figure out what it is that you want to do, well then go fall in love with the dance again. Go watch some shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch certain dance styles all my goddamn life growing up in this shit. And then it took one person maybe like 10 years later to where it finally registered for me where it made sense for me. I knew about popping since fucking 93. But Slim got me on. You know, I seen the motherfuckers cutting it up on cardboard boxes back in, at the crib. Yeah, like, it's, it's nothing new, but it took somebody. Go fall in love with it. Go watch some people. You know what I mean? Go to hit up some sessions. You know what I mean? Go travel. If you really fuck with this shit, it's not gonna it's not gonna matter to you. You gonna you gonna fuck with it just off the strength of of what it is that you that you pursuing. Like if dance is what you fuck with, you gotta make that shit happen. Don't give up, doggy dog. Don't give up. I say that shit. Oh, I'll say it until my camera shut off. I got about 20 seconds. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's the same way I'm trying to get to 5K subs by the end of the month. It's not gonna happen, but I, I, I'm not gonna give up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna still keep asking y'all to become members of the Super Exclusive Secret Club. The link is in the description. You're not gonna click it, <laughs> but I'm not gonna give up. You understand what I mean? I got the Metals Palace link right under it. You can buy some gear and be fresh just like me. Look, man, the link is in the description. You gonna click it? No, but I'm not gonna give up. You understand what I mean? Look, man, I know somebody hearing me right now. I know somebody hearing me right now. Before my camera get out, I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. All right? I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace.